Okay, let's see. Game four, first half. A uh, perma bans here. It seems like it's not even important anymore because none of these perma bans are gonna ever be used again, except for maybe Sierra and forward. But let's see. It's gonna be priestess and antiquarian first two bans from Super Rich. For survivor side, we're gonna be getting out the entomologist and the cheerleader. Cheerleader can finally be used. Let's see here. Oh, the cheerleader is gonna be brilliant. Cheerleader is gonna be brilliant here. Uh, we're gonna be able to use cheerleader to gain four level. But of course, uh, survivor side, we banned Axe Boy, we banned uh, Opera Singer, and of course, the Night Watch. So for Super Rich, he has a bomb on, he has an Ann. I don't really know who else Super Rich plays. Wheel cannot be played on this map, by the way. You can't play Wheel on this map. But of course, Aeroplane is spawned. We're gonna be seeing the first officer coming out here as well. Uh, with that first officer ban, it could be, you know what, Super Rich could come out with a Gala. I, I do think Gala wouldn't be bad if we chase, well, no, actually, it's not going to be good at all. Who can Gala chase here? No one. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing the coordinator last ban there, Hui Yi. Who, who are we going to pick? Who are we going to pick? I genuinely don't know who, who we are going to pick anymore. We could pick some old that decodes fast, like Female Dancer, because Female Dancer has been perma banned. Uh, but... We, we have Juan who's gonna play Entomologist. We could have Lon playing, uh, Lon could be playing Cheerleader, but it does seem like it's gonna be Hui Yi's pocket pick here with the Weeping Clown. Weeping Clown pop, pocket pick isn't too bad here, I guess. It just really depends on how everyone sees this. Why does that always happen? It just depends on how everyone sees this. But Super Rich side Bonbon, option one for to go for Ento, but you couldn't chase after either the cheerleader or the or the or the or the weeping clown. And then option number two would be would be I don't know. I genuinely don't know anymore. Who else is this guy playing? Nayid? But if you're really gonna play Nayid against this Tinkom, once again, it's not really worth your time. It is really not worth your time. But of course, we're gonna be seeing the Tinkom stats here. Decoding progress is, seems like it's gonna be below average. Uh, rescue is average, containment is average, and support is average here as well. Is it average or above average? I don't know. It seems like it's mainly average here, except for decoding. Decoding is a bit below average because of Weeping Clown. I think 10% decoding debuff. Uh, cheerleader, 10% decoding debuff. And then you have your first officer there as well with a 20% decoding deep off there so there is dash mm, but with a survivor's persona lock here i guess i guess it's still better just to roll windows speed boost here against this team comp one windows speed boost or palace speed boost rotate straight towards a uh, hospital that's probably the go-to area <clears throat> that's probably the main aim actually of this whole team comp here as well because like per each survivor's i am used after well per each survivor's i ooh violinist Okay. Mm. <clears throat> this is Vio after buff as well, so this is gonna be very interesting to see. Oh, Violinist after buff. Wow. Wow, really now, Violinist. I still don't think this is a good idea. Cheerleader goes away. Weeping Claire goes away after one string. I don't think this is a good idea. Violinist doesn't have anything to catch up with as well. Demon notes may be good, but if you don't have early game, you have nothing. Ooh, this is bad, bad. Okay then, let's see here. Excuse me, era selection mode, we go. We're gonna be seeing Ento in the middle here. First officer towards, uh, first officer towards the right hand side. We've been clear near Shaq, and then it seems like the cheerleader is gonna be at runes. Okay. This is really bad. For violinist, I think this is a three-man escape, bare minimum. Um, but anyways, moving on towards the game, we go. Um, handshake here from both coaches' side. Let's see the persona traits first. Let's see the persona traits here. We can't really go after first officer here, but because of that pick, it seems like Weeping Clown may actually rotate out from that area. But of course, it's gonna be Peeper's insolence detention on towards Violinus here. It's been so long since I've seen you, my friend. But of course, double tight turner on Weeping Clown, of course, on first officer, and then one window sweep is on cheerleader. And then Huang Ho is gonna bring the flywheel here for the entomologist.
Okay, let's see Inferno Volcano, if that's what the skin name is. We're going to be seeing Super Rich here out as the Vile. Hui is at a little bit of a bad area here, but of course, that's simply because of the fact that he is the first officer. Now then, Huang He is currently using the beast to rotate towards an even better area for the survivors, but with that, Peepers being deployed down here. Inksland's attention, wanted order, and attack speed boost, alongside which uh, Exhibitionist. We're going to have uh, fear, well, not, oh well, yeah, well, we're going to have fear deployed down there as well but it seems like long here could be the immediate first chase we're gonna have a slow vault over there immediately that's gonna be the string there deployed but of course we're gonna be using our pompons here to pull a little bit of a distance there away from the hunter meanwhile we are gonna be seeing the next string being deployed out there as well but it seems like for super Rich, that's gonna be a no string used sadly but of course pompon is already gone as well we did manage to get a hit right over the pallet there against lon as well so that's a really nice pallet mind game once again, very early hits, but uh, with no items here remaining on cheerleader's side. I mean, at the end of the day, cheerleader solo containment is still a little bit meh compared to everyone else. We are going to be able to get a string out right there. But it seems like we're going to be cancelling the string here from Super Rich's side. Not a good... Uh, not a good not a good sight here from our hunter side but of course ooh very nicely done by Juan that was all Huang He that was really all Huang He right there but with the two survivors here the support is brilliant but we're gonna have to go out there immediately towards that area that's gonna be the pallet drop down there but we're not gonna vault in there's another pump on there being deployed as well but it seems like we didn't manage to dodge that sadly that was so close but of course with a little bit of an extra containment here coming from the weeping clown side at least First officer cipher machines are 85%, but in this case scenario, this could potentially be good for the violinist. But of course, Wei is going to come in early with a pocket watch there being deployed as well. We are going to play a lot of mind games here at the end of the day. We did manage to get a hit on towards the first officer right there, but I don't think this, these demon notes are going to register. But of course, no pom poms left on towards Lon's hands. We didn't really get anything there as well, but uh, wait a second, what's happening right now? We're gonna deploy the peepers down. Okay, we've 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 we have established the fact that this is a cheerleader. No problem, oh my friends. But with this tree cipher machine pop right here, the moment this string comes up, pop up, beep beep, and we're gonna cancel the string there once again. Uh, I guess cancelling the string there is great because it's only a 5 second cooldown if we cancel the string so that's overall okay. Uh, didn't get anything there as well. It's going to be an 11 second uh, vault over. Oh no, did, uh, no terror shock. But there's 3 stocks of exhibitionists right here so that means there's 2 survivors nearby. It's most likely to enter on the first officer here but of course with that charge attack speed boost being used. I mean Super Rich can't really always use this because... Cause then now there's no left. No, there's no left. Okay, can we get a? Can we get anything here? Can we get anything here? We can't get anything here. A little bit unfortunate. The mind game here has been won by Lon, but uh, with this team come, we're going to be able to pull quite a bit of a distance away. Wish Iron here once again. Iron could potentially just get off the. Yeah, Aaron could potentially just get off the get out the rocket and start doing whatever the hell he needs to. But of course, Long going down there because of that string. A little bit unfortunate. We aren't able to get a hit there on towards Iron. Once again, a very nice ice set there done by Aaron. But of course, with nine seconds remaining on uh, Rocket, seems like we're going to be seeing Entomon just coming in with rescue. We could sell here for the tie. We definitely could sell here for the tie if we really want to. Ah, it's also the basement. Okay. Okay, if it's also a basement, then it's a whole different thing. If it's also a basement, it's a whole different thing. For the survivors here, both the Weeping Clown and the First Officer has to heal. I don't think we... we uh, I don't think First Officer coming to rescue is a good idea. I won't lie. I won't lie. There's still a chance of him getting hit since uh, Super Rich can do unlimited hits when, his, uh, when he activates his presence one skill. So, just gonna have to see here. We are just gonna have to see here. We do have... We do see that... It's what well, I mean. It's an insolence attention. We know that it's an insolence, but uh, with that on mind, let's see. Juan is currently looking for an item for end game use. It's most likely for the weeping clan for later, and then that fifty percent cipher machine most likely will be given away. So we won't be decoding that cipher machine anymore. Currently, first officer opening a completely new cipher machine. Accelerated decoding has already started here, though. So first officer definitely gains quite a lot from this uh, decoding buff. But of course, with Iron being nearby as well, Iron most likely won't be taking that at all. So we're gonna go straight in towards the six second cooldown here, which is brilliant. Compared to BQ, this is brilliant, but landing the strings are still really hard at the end of the day. So yeah. So yeah, Ooh, we didn't get anything there. That's uh, that's either super rich. That was super rich predicting a lot of stuff. But of course, with those demon notes, seems like we won't be able to get a hit there.
seems like we won't be able to get a hit there uh that's gonna be an immediate rocket pull towards uh towards runes and tomorrow just did manage to open an extra chest there so weeping clown should be able to pick up uh, an extra item there as well but of course if we're really gonna go after ento here let's see weeping clown no items question mark no there's definitely an item there for weeping clown to pick is there not I'm more surprised on the fact that there's not, I won't lie, but there is not going to be any demon notes there landed on towards the Weeping Clown there, Sally. Now, Cypher Machine is also primed. We are currently praying. <laughs> we are currently praying for the Three Man Escape. Just hold your hand tight, please. And, okay, demon notes did miss there, but we are still able to stack demon notes. That's going to be the media pop there as well. Speed Booster utilized by Super Rich, but Sally here. Does it seem like Iron is going to be able to make it towards the X Gate there? I don't think there's an item there really to use for the Weeping Clown. But, of course, okay, that's a very nice dodge here once again. We're going to be able to vault over that okay that's fine it seems like we're gonna keep the weeping clown here tie game is definitely still guaranteed tie game is still definitely guaranteed there was a lot of stream misses but of course with a string cancellation six second crew that it's still better compared to a bq we are going to be able to vault over and of course let's congratulate here a tie for the violinist really rare to see let's move on towards uh second half okay let's see for second half alex is gonna be banning oh uh lawyer and seer so we're we're gonna st oh it's okay yeah that's understandable if we ban the lawyer then it means that we don't want any decoding buffs but of course from the survivor side it's gonna be opera singer bomb on and a night watch ban fully understandable no wheel here can be used bomb has been negated so i guess it's uh, well i mean alexa has played wax artists on this map quite a lot so the survivors also realize this as well which is why we're gonna be picking out the aeroplanist and the uh, cheerleader immediately just so we can counter the wax artist here Next map will be Entomologist, so Alec is realizing this as well. Entomologist ban is brilliant, but of course, Anne definitely can't be chosen here anymore. Uh, with those two survivor picks, it's a little bit iffy here as well. Uh, we could potentially come out with, you know, Axe Boy. But of course, Axe Boy gets this team combo, we're really gonna have to see. At least there is no Explorer here remaining anymore. Uh, Mercenary with that pick, so survivors here definitely think that's an Axe Boy. Which is kind of one of the reasons for the mercenary picks. Kind of one of the biggest reasons for the mercenary picks. But you know what? Since you haven't picked the priestess, we will ban the priestess here. So, with a survivor side, no female dancer for hospital. Good. No coordinator. Good. So, what else can a survivor last pick here? Patient is probably not a bad choice. You could also have a psychologist here with the, you know, stress heal, with a whistle heal. Uh, but Psycho probably could could be a really good pick, but it seems like it could be an Anticurrent. So the, ah, right, Anticurrent has not been picked out yet. I just realized. Okay, fair enough. Anticurrent has also not been picked out yet. And this is a AK's Anticurrent, so this is going to be very interesting to see. This is going to be very interesting to see. Uh, with that in mind, Alekas uh, cannot... You, so you can't play Sculptor because Cheerleader and because of Aeroplanist and because of Anticurrent. You can't... You could potentially play... Axe Boy, but if you play Axe Boy, you can't really chase after a. You can't chase after Anti Current because Axe Boy can. Uh, no, Anti Current can actually get rid of the fire orbs. So, lol. Quite funny, isn't it? And then Anne, I don't think Anne will be possible here as well. I But, like, Wax Artist is a definite, but then Wax Artist gets countered by the other two. Well, all, all four of these guys, honestly. So, we're gonna have to see. It could be Nyad. You know what? You never know. It could be Nyad, but Nyad also doesn't work against this team comp. So, this team comp kind of does counter the current day meta. Unless we get a Geisha out. Now, Alexis, are you going to get your Geisha out or not? That's a good question. I've seen Alexis playing Geisha quite a bit lately. So, Geisha is still a thing. I don't think BQ is going to be a thing, even though Alexis does have a BQ on hand, but BQ is not going to be awarded. Seems like we're going to opt out for an Anne here. Guarantee tie Anne. Persona wise, Persona wise for Alexis, I feel like it's going to be a must for palette breaking. We're, it's it's going to be uh, max palette breaking, Insolence. That's what I feel like this should be. Incidence here kind of just allows us to get our second dashes up a little bit faster. Just so even if we after we get the rescue, we've double dashes, so there's no chance for rebound kiting at all. That's what I simply think. That is really what I simply think. Let's see here. We're going to be having anti-current spawning in middle cheerleader by the right hand side. I don't even know. I can't really read this properly. 
But uh, anyways, moving on towards the persona points we go, it's going to be top down blink here for Alekas. Meanwhile, one fly will on Antiquator, one window speed boost on Cheerleader, and of course, double tie turn here on Mercenary and on Aeroplanist. Okay, let's see. Alekas, we're going to be coming out here immediately with the cat jump. It seems like we're going to go after the cheerleader here first and foremost. I mean, that's understandable. Once cheerleader has used up all her items, it, be it takes her 30 seconds to get the next pom-poms. So with that in mind as well, Blink probably will be ready after we get a hit. So we're going to have to see here. We're going to vault over here immediately. There is a dungeon here. Well, no, there is a basement here. But cheerleader seems like we want to vault. Uh, well, we want to rotate away from from runes and go into two story here instead so we're gonna give a uh, two story away for the survivors here to use but with that in mind cheerleader having no pop hunts here remaining uh, even with even with no pop hunts remaining this is a two story area it's kind of hard here for an ant to really land any cats here at the end of the day we are gonna be able to get that cat out we do see where the cheerleader is but of course cheerleader here giving a little bit of a distance here we are gonna be able to register that first hit quite soon and of course with two seconds remaining until blink is ready well blink is ready now uh we cannot we cannot we, we cannot blink out here please don't do that alex if alex really does that it's gonna be really scary for me but of course we got that cat at least we got that cat at least we did manage to get the lock and of course the blink down here okay that's fine for and using a blink early you better use it early or it's better now than later honestly better now than later but of course we're gonna be forcing mercenary out of his cypher machine sadly this really isn't you know an aeroplanist but I mean, if it's an anti current, you're kind of screwed. But like, sadly, this isn't an aeroplay this cipher machine. But of course, you're still able to, you know, harass the mercy. But it seems like mercenary, no damage rescue. A little bit of an earlier rescue. 5% movement speed here being. Uh, ooh, okay. 5% movement speed here on the. On the on the on the cheerleader because of the cheer. We do see anti current nearby as well. But because anti came a tad bit late bit unfortunate here we do see that this is also mulan costume here on anti current so anti anti flywheel no flywheel needed to be used but there is still a flywheel on the anti current here which is a little bit annoying we could put a cross in between dash uh area that's a flywheel on antiquarian okay that's gonna be a die okay that's gonna be a stun that's gonna be a second one uh we do still have one more didn't get a hit there <coughs> Didn't get a hit there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at least Andy Karina having no items here remaining on her hands to use. Still a 10 second disarm. It is still a 10 second disarm. So Andy Karina seems like we'll be retreating back for now. With one full cipher remaining on the field, there's double pom-poms here on cheerleader. So if Andy Karina here can double rescue alongside with a mercenary, I feel like he'll probably be better. Because like we could just have, we, we generally could just have, um, we could just have who again we could just have a uh, aeroplanist finishing off the last cypher machine which is fine in my opinion Ooh, that's a nice hit that's another stun that's fair enough we didn't really get a hit over there but that's gonna be a double down situation eight seconds left until mercenary is gonna go down i feel like mercenary can't really finish off his cypher machine here so that's gonna be a 99 percent cypher machine in a situation like this we are also going to be able to see where antiquarian is meanwhile ak ac being nearby as well antiquarian stunned that's okay we can jump here we can jump here we can jump here the aeroplane seems like he has to rotate away from this area but it seems like we are going to be able to know we are not going to be able to get a double stun there a little bit unfortunate here I anti current getting a little bit of a cheer here but that's only for cheerleader to gain a little bit of a movement speed boost here at the end of the day so it doesn't really matter here for cheerleader to focus on actually giving stacks for ak seems like we are going to be able to get the cat there on straight towards our anti query and bosh that double st oh my lord that is absolutely insane uh, we are going to be able to lock the items here from Atta aside from Cheerleader, but the last Cypher Machine is almost about to be done right now. 85% Cypher Machine progress here. Oh my lord. Blink is ready, but there's no way for us to use Blink here at all. We tried to get the dash priority there. The Cypher Machine is currently primed. There's only Blink left, but no, we didn't get the body block there. Oh, wait a second. We didn't get the body block. We blink out. Oh no, we cannot blink out. Oh no, Anticor has no items remaining. Wait, 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 Anticor has no items remaining. Okay, the cat comes out, 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 the cat comes out. We're gonna be able to land the cat right there as well. We're gonna be able to get the sun right here. Okay, that's gonna be cheerleader going down here immediately. But the cyber machine is currently at 60%. Cyber machine is currently at 60%. Oh lord. Uh it's currently 3-2 for it's currently what is what is the score again? It's five well no, what is it? 
Oh, okay, I'm, I'm even more confused now. Oh, it's, it's 5 to 3 right now. Let's congratulate 3-man escape here for GR moving on towards game 5.